Hi, welcome for our online trainings and placements. So in this session, we are going to discuss how to create a new customer. After creating the customer, how we can go for assign this customer to multiple business units. Assign this customer to multiple business units. So what I'm trying to do is, we are going to take two business units here. One is US one business unit. Another one is so MRF business units. We have both business units in our application. First, we'll go for create a new customer and assign the customer to this business unit. So whenever we start creating a new customer, first thing what we have to do is, first we have to go to our business unit task. Let's go to FSM environment here, financials. Search for the task here, business unit set assignment. Business unit set assignment here. And we are in the scope of MRFBU. Okay, no issue. If you want to go for MRF business unit set assignment. And here we have to work for this customer account site. Which reference data set we are using? Cust site. Cust site is the reference data set. Okay. So whenever we are creating a customer, we'll enter customer details, customer account details, customer account address. During the third step, customer account address, it will ask us which reference data set. Address means indirectly it is a customer site. Then we'll go for enable the site usage over here and we'll go for perform all these operations. Let's go for save and close. Now I'm going to create a customer. So go for create customer here. Listening Xerox Corporation. Here system will not ask any details. Account information also it will not ask any details. It will ask us like customer class and other. Here account address. Here it will ask you what is the reference data set. As we said that we are using the cust site. It means indirectly you are assigning to your uh, MRF business unit. Okay. So I'm going to mention site name. Here we are going to specify the site uses purpose of this site. This I wanted to use it for Customer is telling this site I'm using for both building as well as the tipping. Build to ship to purpose I'm going to use. And then we'll go for save and close. This is the customer which we have created uh, successfully. Let's go for search the customer here. This is Jirox Corporation. US Xerox Corporation USA here. This is customer name and this is customer account. This is the customer site. So when we click on this site details, I could see that here a site information. And then when we go for address, we can find the address information. Here in the address, we can find any any uh, profile history and other information we can find out here. Here I can see that this customer site has been associated with this. Okay, so now we want to go for assign this for another uh, business unit. US one business unit to this customer. So what we have to do is let's go for uh, again, verify the business unit task. Manage business unit, set assignment and choose your business unit. If your business unit is using same reference data set, then there won't be any problem. There won't be any problem. So let's say customer. 
customer account site, same reference data set. So obviously your customer and customer site, both are available for these two business units because uh, US1 business unit is using the same reference data set. Okay. And uh, MRFBU also is using the same reference data set. So we wanted to test whether we are able to access this or not, whether we are able to access this customer from the business unit. Make sure that you have the role called account receivables. What roles are required for ER? Two roles, account receivable manager, account receivable specialist. After that, make sure that you got the data access for both the business units. When I go for data access here, how to find whether you have the permission for both the business units or not. When we go for manage, select this radio button, users with data access and choose your username, AR underscore EMP. And if at all you want to choose the role name, it's okay. Otherwise you can click search button. Now what system is showing clearly, you got the permission only for US1 BU and you are supposed to go for add uh, the business unit. AR underscore EMP and choose the role name business unit and whatever the business unit you would like to go for associate that we can use it here. And after assigning both the business units permission to the users, let's go for submit LDAP process. And now we are able to access here. Generally, logout and login is not required. If the LDAP process is completed successfully, we'll be able to access the data. Now let's go for raise the transaction for the invoice in US1 business unit. And then try to raise the invoice in MRFP and check the customer we are getting or not. Create transaction. Say MRF business unit. Xerox Corporation, yes. 64136 available. I'm able to raise the transaction for this customer. Stay one close. So invoice number is 6099. Same thing for the same customer, we'll raise it for the US1 business unit. Choose the business unit. Select transaction source and type in this business unit. Here I could see that Xerox Corp USA. And I'm going to raise this invoice. Let's say one quantity, $2. Save. And then go for complete entry. Go for complete entry. Right, and then go for save and close. So I'm able to access the customer from both the business units. This is how we will make the customer is available for multiple business units. That's the reason when we go for customer account balances. If I want to check what is the customer balance, what activities we have done so far with the customer, what are the accounting uh, transactions, sorry, customer transactions we have done, we can review the details here, review customer account details. Here it will ask us business unit wise, you can find the transaction. Let's say our customer, right now our customer is Xerox Corporation USA, right? That's the name of the customer. What happened? Starts with the Xerox customer.
let's search with business unit wise for this business unit showing that there is only one customer activities are this because we created the invoice let me just check the billing go for manage transactions after that uh, today who's the customer xerox search today transactions this is our uh, transaction for us one view let me check this 6099 is the transaction we have created and then go for create accounting transactions okay it seems there is some issue with the accounting interest that's the reason transaction is not visible what is the issue here? The accounting cannot be created. Try again later. And if the issue persists, contact your help desk. Okay. Someone might have changed some accounting entries. Let me check it from US1 business unit point of view. Here also, okay. so that's the reason we are not able to find from the customer uh, review point of view. But anyway, so when the organizations are working, if at all you would like to go for assign your customer to the multiple business units, we need to check with the reference data set. If it is a new reference data set, obviously we have to create another uh, site that is required. If it is for new reference data set, we are supposed to use that options okay thank you